Ah, the mail is here. Thank you, Steve. Let's see, we have uh, Bill, Bill, postcard from Lex Luthor, Bill. Oh, excellent. A letter from the insurance company. Let's see. Dear Dr. Blah, blah, blah. After assessing damages to blah, blah, blah. Destruction by superpowered being is not covered by your policy? What a bunch of... Jiminy Willikers! Good afternoon, Doctor. Oh, Mr. Voldemort, I'm so sorry. I wasn't expecting you until four. You startled me a bit. Unsurprisingly, I seem to have that effect. You'll excuse my earliness, of course. I'm still on wizard time. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Not at all. Please have a seat. And uh, if you could, uh, the giant snake, could you have it slither into the waiting room until we're done? Very well. Nagini, skull stews the waiting room. Why are, why are you talking like that? It is a secret snake language I use to speak to my pet. But I could totally understand everything you said. You just told the snake to go into the waiting room while adding a s noise before everything you said. You understand parcel tongue? You are a wizard. A member of the House of Slytherin. Oh, uh, sure. Anyway, I believe when we last spoke, you were attempting to usurp the governing body of wizards, thus controlling all aspects of wizard life. How how has that been going? Quite well, actually. The Ministry has fallen under my control, as has Hogwarts. Well, that sounds wonderful. It is, unless you're a muggle, mudblood, or traitor. For them, it's quite horrifying. The only thing left to do is to deal with Harry Potter. Now, Mr. Voldemort, we've talked about this. I thought we had gotten past this obsession with schoolboys. Well, when you say it that way, it just sounds creepy. I'm not into that. So you want to murder him? That's it. Nothing else, right? Just murder, I assure you. Well, that's a comforting thing to hear. What brings you to me today? To be honest frustration. I am the most powerful wizard in the world, yet I cannot locate this boy. He continues to elude me through sheer luck. Well, frankly, after overthrowing the Ministry of Magic, haven't you pretty much done what you've set out to do? He is the key to my immortality. Through his death, I will live forever. Well, with modern medicine, you could pretty much do that now. A uh, micro hair transplantation, a good plastic surgeon, a tan may do you some good. Maybe once you have a nose, people will stop staring as, uh, as often as they do. No. I must do it my own way. I have hidden away portions of my soul in several magical items. Well, I wikipedia magic and read up on the subject. It seemed to me that you're pretty much safe. I mean... What are the chances that those relics will be destroyed by teenagers? You would be surprised. My journal was destroyed a few years ago. A journal is a great thing to have. You can pour your heart and soul into it without any judgment. But it sounds like you've literally poured your soul into your journal. I did. And it fell into the hands of some little girl. I imagine it was destroyed. When she read about my crush on Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Well, that sounds tame enough. No, no, it really was not. I wrote details in there. Private ones. Graphic ones. Oh, I understand. Wouldn't want a little girl to get a hold of that. It's a good thing it was destroyed. It destroyed a piece of my soul. Literally. Other than that, it was mostly pictures I drew of Eddie, the mascot of the band Iron Maiden, and on a few pages, I traced my hand and then drew upon the outline, giving it the crude impression of a turkey. That seems normal. They were zombie turkeys, with blood dripping from their fangs and dark markings upon their feathers. And that's not so normal. I Also, I believe turkeys do not have fangs. Hey, I was 13. Give me a break. Point taken, but I still think the chances of Harry Potter finding and destroying your soul-bearing objects are pretty small. I think everything will be okay. I have my apprehensions. 
Trust me, you'll be fine, but it seems like we're out of time, so uh, please feel free to grab a bagel and some coffee on your way out. These bagels are all plain. Would you mind if I turned one into a pumpernickel bagel? Can you do that? Whatever, get ever! Well, so you can. I thought that was your killing curse. It is, but if you cast the spell on a bagel, it turns to pumpernickel. Well, that's an odd coincidence. Yes, I thought so too. Well, come, Nagini. Back to the search for Harry Potter. Uh, it might just be me, but did your snake gain some weight over the past five minutes? No, you are quite correct. Uh, apparently, she has simply eaten your receptionist. Apologies. I forgot to feed her before we left the apartment. Good day, Doctor. Oh, that temp agency is not gonna like this. I'm gonna have to pay another deposit and for my car repairs myself. Oh, sometimes I wish my patients would pay me in money instead of threats against my life. Wait, who am I talking to?